Yes, have we got some Last Kingdom fans in the house? That's good because otherwise it would be a very weird panel. So um, yeah, we're going to introduce the lovely Mark and Arnest. I want you to give them a huge round of applause. Here they are, it's Mark and Arnest. <laughs> I mean, Arnest ran out there and I was like, mate, there's nowhere else to run. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm, I'm hyper, I'm jacked up on coffee. I was gonna run that way and then return and do a backflip, but I had to stop myself. So, kind of like you. a toddler, I was like, oh, like, oh, doing the sharp There's objects so, everywhere. We got the army over there. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> hey, Whoa. thank you for your service. up for the army, they have a booth over there, they're taking <laughs> people. And anyway, you want to be part of Team Hutchwood? <laughs> Our real swords. We need also other weapons because we want to take over the land. We'll definitely take a tank if you've got it. That'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get baby birds so fast. <laughs> Let us in. Send in the tank, lads. <laughs> Send in the tank. Uh, guys, thanks for being here. Have you had a nice weekend so far? Has it been good? It's been really, really fun. And we haven't been here for three years, so we forgot the experience. And everyone, as usual, is so kind to us. I don't know why. Everyone's so generous, full of joy. And it's just nice to meet people and feel that we may have some sort of a positive impact, hopefully. And also, there's a lot of coffee, and I love coffee. <laughs> yeah, as we get and, to. And donuts. Oh my God, people brought me donuts yesterday. I had two of them before I went to sleep, and I, I couldn't fall asleep because my heart was just like... <laughs> Well, so, thank you. I was in the green room yesterday at the end of the day, and that's the first time I saw Mark, and he had a donut in his hand. He was like, oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> like, the donut, I was like, all right. We love it's donuts. We they love do. Donuts. It's sponsored, you. hashtag sponsored by donuts. Donuts, hashtag. in general, no particular brand, just donuts. <laughs> hashtag ad. Um, when you were younger, like, because we're, you know, we're at Comic Con, and, you know, it's like a community of, like, geeky, nerdy folks, you know, this would be my mecca. You know, what kind of like kids were you when you were younger? What kind of nerds were you? What did you nerd out over, would you say? I, I was into wrestling. Yes. 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 Me and my dad, who's also here, wave to my dad. He, <laughs> he, we used to watch WCW. For some reason, we didn't have a lot of WWF in, in where I'm from. So I watched a lot of wrestling and Spider-Man. Oh, Those yeah. Those are two things. Well, this, the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. Yes, the yeah. one with the... Yeah, no, 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 no. oh yeah, the, the music. You know I mean? I'm not going to try and sing it, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not try and do that. Um, what kind of wrestling did you, or who was your favorite wrestler? I love the Hardy Boys. Yeah. Hardy Boys had, they were up there, but for me personally, I was very, a very big fan of Goldberg, if anybody remembers this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goldberg, he used to come out, inhale smoke, which at the, as a kid, I was like, that's amazing. Now I was like, that's cancerogenic, it's cancer. And he'd, <laughs> blow, he'd take in smoke and then blow it out, and he had this like a rugby tackle. Pretty much his main move was a rugby tackle, and I loved it. Oh, yeah, Goldberg, I remember him. What about you, Mark? Who's your fave? Um, I think there's too many, but I did like uh, Mankind. The guy yeah. created a finisher move with a sock. <laughs> How cool is that? Imagine, imagine that pitching. Um, so my wrestler, yeah, uh, it makes, I'm very unique. I come out there and I have a sock in my hand that talks. <laughs> And I'm just going to choke the person out with my sock. Some Americans like, it's not going to work. And someone just went, hell yes. That's what we need. A man with a sock. That was the end of the Hardy Brothers career. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> totally. Okay, bring out the sock. Well, okay, so one more wrestling question and then we'll move on to the Last Kingdom. What would your finishing move be if you were a wrestler? You can't, sock's been taken, Mark, I'm sorry to say. The sock's been taken. So what would your finishing move, oh, I think we'd have to be, your legs. I'm just like, trying to think, I think we'd have to do like a duo type. No, you know what, if we were Citric and Finnan, our finishing move would be, we'd just ruffle up the guy and Uchid would come in eating whatever, a chicken leg, take a sword that we pass on to him and he just does the finishing move, takes all the credit. So the finishing move is actually us doing all the hard work and he just finishes it. And it's called Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Because you see like, he'd, have, he'd, have, he'd be eating lunch in the back and he'd be like, is it ready? I'm like, yes Lord. And he comes in and does it. <laughs> I mean, that's a, good, that's a good name for the finishing move, of course. Yes, I was Lord. just going to call it Chicken Stab. 
<laughs> okay. a chicken step because sometimes he would mix it up before taking the sword he would try to do it with the chicken it's like lord lord and you know chicken step chicken step get, get it out chicken step let's go um let, let's get it out get your chicken step out well this has been a weird beginning to the panel i'm a big fan of this panel <laughs> it's always on the sunday my brain goes a wee bit weird wait so you're n- sometimes you're not like this oh i'm always like this what he are knows you talking about? <laughs> like he knows um okay let's Guys, back to the Lost Kingdom. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Tell me, what was was it? You know, when you were when you got this role, and you were like, "Oh my God!" What were what were the thoughts going through your head? That anticipation of what was to come. Were you were you kind of nervous, excited? Like, well, I think we were both in quite interesting uh, parts of our life at the time because we we had jobs at the time. I was handing out leaflets, and Mark was working at a restaurant, if I believe. So. It was a moment of like, oh my God, I have a job. And like, and then just keep doing this thing that you keep doing because you're still afraid that that night not, might not necessarily be true until you're there. And even when you're there, you're always like, is this really happening? Mm. So it was a lot of anticipation. And I remember my agents disappeared for a couple of weeks and I'm like, oh, I'm passing out the leaflets. Well, well that's done. Mm. And then they just called me like, no, they, I think they just want you for four seasons. So that was like, oh. Oh, for me so great what about you Mark what were you thinking well what Honest was saying I was working in a restaurant at the time and the person I was working with was from Lithuania and somehow he knew your sister it was he my went, is my sister's ex-boyfriend of all people yeah. so he worked with my sister's, ex, uh, sister's ex-boyfriend in London in a restaurant yeah and then he was like oh my friend but that was it um, I know someone who get cast in this TV show, this new kind of Vikings yeah. TV show. BBC were doing it at the time, uh, and Netflix are involved now. And I was like, "Oh, cool!" Um, I just, I just got a recall for something there, and Destiny, Destiny, so Destiny weird. happened, and that's how we became housemates. Yeah, on, yeah. and you, you were how long were you housemates for? Two, two, two years. Two years. Right. Okay. Dish the dirt. Bad habits. Who's got them, and what are they? We both of, we had another person who had worse habits, so we yeah. we, could all, we could always like talk be, not talk behind his back about him, but we like we try to keep our end of the game as much as we could. I I don't think I think Mark's a great cook. I don't have any like I only take inspiration I, from. I him. have a funny story. Go on. Okay. So there was a there was a woman who lived next door, and she was lovely. She was called Joy, <laughs> and honest, and actually everyone in the house brought Joy to Joy because um. Any, any, any time that we went outside or we, we were having a shower or anything like that, I'm very aware this might be oversharing information. <laughs> but there's, but a, there's a window there. Yeah, there is a window. So there's a window there and you would open the window so there's better circulation for the steam to get out. And <laughs> those times, Joy would just suddenly know that Arnis was in the shower. And she, she would go out, this old woman, and uh, she would go outside and just <laughs> do her gardening, <laughs> aka spying from afar. And uh, that, that was her thing. And you know, we brought joy to joy. We did, we did. And you say she Arnest, was lovely. but at some point he was like, we had the discussions like, mate, that's, that's happening. And like, I see just open the window a little bit more. Let her, <laughs> joy. Let, let her look, let her it was, look. It was above, it was the safe. It was above. Yes, it was safe, nothing, you know. No one, no one trying to cancel us, all right? No, none of that. <laughs> we were providing a service. Yes, yes, yes. We were providing a service. Good on you, good on you, my friend. Um, okay, back to the last kingdom, right? Okay, let's again, Joy. My God, Joy, you've derailed it again. <laughs> um, tell me, um, you know, it's it's common knowledge. You know, I've watched so many interviews to research about today. Of course, when you're in the outfits, you can't go to the toilet. You know, it's very difficult and stuff. So I wanted to ask, what are your top tips? for getting out of a outfit real fast. Just have your friends nearby, teach your friends how, like how to take off your costume. Cause that's what we sometimes at the end of the day would get in the van and you could go back to base camp and have, have the costume ladies come in and help you. But we would just start, oh, Trent, Alex was ahead of his, ahead of everyone because we wanted cool costumes. So we'd be like, add this and add that and that, but the, you can't take it off yourself. Whereas Alex always had a costume that if he tried, he could kind of take off himself. So we would just have to help each other out. That's the only way of doing it. 
you don't stick around, obviously. You just help each other and go, right, we'll see you later. That's the, yeah. Don't stick around for the after part. They were really cruel. Remember one year I had like a corset, but not at the front. It was like from behind, but it was made of leather. Oh. I was like, this is so impractical. Yeah. And to, to put this on, like, Benin would need to employ someone full time just to help with his wardrobe. Oh my god! I'm That's why we never had topless scenes or anything because we there's no way we could do a scene like all right, put on your armor. Like what? Because you had people to do it for you. So. Oh yeah, if you have an intimate scene, it would just be like bow chicka bow bow. Thirty minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> just one second. One, one hold, second. <laughs> hold on. I was not a concept back then, anyways. They're just lying there, like just eating chicken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just, <laughs> Very good callback. Just eating chicken. Oh, I love a callback. <laughs> um, tell me about the fight scenes. You know, obviously, when we see the final result, they look blooming brilliant. You know, the fight sequences are so exciting. But I watched an interview with you, Mark, and you were like. Yeah, I ruined a few fight scenes by going the wrong direction and you know, you're, you're, you're tapping the guy and he's falling down. That doesn't sound... How do you keep in the mode, in that mode? Because it sounds like a strange thing to, to film, I guess. I, th I think one of the biggest complications is that um, when you have... When you have about 150 guys taking on another 150 guys and they all look the same <laughs> with the wigs and the costume... And then everyone just goes crazy. Everyone has their own fight choreography. You have to very quickly go, okay, who's a part of my fight? And very, I mean, it's quite common for it to happen that you're like, I don't know who I'm going to fight here because you all look the same. <laughs> and now and again, you might just slash someone and then you ruin part of someone's fight and then the other guy comes at you who you're supposed to fight and everything's kind of out of sequence so that that can happen quite often right but i think you're referring to a time when in season three i knew you're gonna go to that this story is my, this go, is, go on tell it tell it go on, go on. i do apologize for those who have heard it but it's just that was my that was such a, a good fun story. day it's a very fun it was cold Let's set the scene. It was very cold. It was muddy. It's impossible to lift your feet unless they say action and you put your feet out of the mud. Oh, yeah. And it, yeah, freezing, freezing cold. And um, we thought they were shooting in a close up. So we're like, okay, we're quite close together. So it's a two shot. It's quite close. And it's on us. So if you slash the sword by the side of the camera, it looks as if you're fighting an army. Because it's a, it's a close-up. So if someone's not even there, it just looks as if you're fighting anyway. So we weren't told that they changed the lens to a wide shot, which takes in the whole battlefield. So we done a sequence. We ended up doing a fight. And the director was like, okay, just keep, keep going, keep it going. And so we were slashing by the camera. And we were like, okay, we're, keep up. we're doing really well here. This is going well. And then we found out earlier on that it was this wide shot and we were just fighting invisible people. Oh. And we just ruined it. We were shouting at you, go that way, slash, <laughs> where am I fighting? And we're just cutting invisible stuff <laughs> and looking at each other for confirmation. Totally, and it was a crane shot and it was so expensive. And we ended up using the extras. They were there, the supporting artists, and they didn't really know what to do either. So then <laughs> we would like, tend to slash them and they would just go down and they had a look of panic like do I fall and die and then as soon as one done it they just went fighting back so we we're just killing people who are just defenseless <laughs> like, this is so bad so we ruined the shot but it was so funny Oh it my. was Did you have so to reset fun. something like that when like, that was the last goal. I think you might because we we call the golden team. We're called the oneers. A lot of the yeah. time we'd come in. There's ten minutes left in the day. Mark and Arnas and uh, you and very often we'd come in and we have like one shot to like all right let's just do all of it in one go. Yeah, and that was one of them. And we we, we, all, we always go three, two, two one, one. Because <laughs> we only have one take for it. Hope I mean if and then we save the day. There's so many would, times we save the we day. We would, we would, as you've seen, just like with the chicken stab. Yes. We'd save the day. We do all his work. He comes in, does the chicken stab. Boom, day saved. Nobody knows it. Nobody gives us credit. Doesn't matter. <laughs> we're, in, we're in for the ride. <laughs> I like the chicken stab. Will be a thing. It's gonna go down in lore now. Um. Have you guys got any questions before I hand it to the floor? Hands up if you've got any questions. Well, one in the back. Okay, so I'm going to come to you in a wee second. Um, 
Arnis, I, I love that you love comedy. You mentioned Blind Boy before. Blind Boy. I love Blind Boy. Blind Boy, the podcast. One of the best podcasts out there. Irish. Love it. So good. Does anyone else like Blind Boy here? or no mm-hmm. Blind Boy. You should go and listen to his podcast. I wanted to ask, is comedy something you're very interested in as an actor as well? Is it something you'd want to end up doing? I'd like to do more of it because I think... I think it's a very difficult and complicated thing to do because you can't, like, to be funny, you can't try to be funny because a lot of the funny stuff comes out of being serious. So I just like silly things in general and I like being as much as possible in the moment. And I like when accidents happen. Like, I, like Alex, is he's a, he's a very good actor and he's very well planned and he likes that, like, everything planned to a T where I'm like, I like the little, ooh, what's going to happen? Maybe we're going to... Maybe we're gonna fall off and something's gonna happen out of that. So I really enjoy that. And I appreciate that me and Mark, we get to do things that, I don't know if they come across as that, but it's like subtext. So it's not directly like slapstick, but but just see that there's something like, oh yeah, that's funny. Yeah, so, yeah. like out a little bit more. Yeah, I'd like, I'd, I'd like to do more of that. Yeah, definitely. What about you, Mark? Like, do you quite fancy yourself maybe trying a little bit more of the lighthearted stuff in future? Yeah, I, I just finished a, a Netflix show there um, and I was playing a sleazy headmaster. Oh. And that was very funny. <laughs> well, hopefully uh, it's funny <laughs> or it's just awkward. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're doing it like that. Um, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually. I'm not doing it like that. I don't know why I done that. <laughs> Think about joy. Yeah. <laughs> joy. Hey. Pull those weeds a little harder. <laughs> Hi, joy. Oh, you're looking nice today. <laughs> joy is really getting like the treatment here at this she panel. She was fabulous. She was so cool. She ended up riding Harley Davidsons. Oh, really? Yeah, and she was part of a shooting club. And oh. she had such an interesting life. Did she ever watch the show? No. She watched the show in the backyard, oh, definitely. She watched the show. <laughs> she watched some, so, yeah. I think she watched one and two, and then she was critical of some scenes. She, she's the kind of person that gave acting notes. Oh, and I was like, actually, watch? Joy, this is great. <laughs> this is great. Bringing out the notebook. Bringing out the notebook. Do you ever get that, like, when either here at events, friends and family in real life, where they go, I've really enjoyed that, but, but. do they, do you ever get that? And how do you react to that? Well, I mean, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Honest, honest his dad's right here. So my dad's, my dad is, he's a really proud camper. I don't even know if he's seen the show. I mean, I think, I know he watched some of it maybe, but it kind of, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. But watch it, please. My dad doesn't watch anything I'm in mean, either. But that's, in a way, that thing. that's a compliment in a way, because they're like, they're, they're assured that like, you know what you're doing. I don't need to check it. It's not, it's like checking your homework. You don't need, like, I know what you, you know what you're doing, right? Yeah. Well, I hope so. I mean, I, clearly, I think so. <laughs> like, right. Chicken stab. Yeah, chicken stab. I, look, we gave you chicken stab, clearly. <laughs> but yeah, my, I think for me, my, my parents, if I say, oh, something's up on a streaming or a YouTube or thing, they go, uh if it's not on BBC. Right. There's a constantly like, evolving standard of perfection that is never just good enough. Like, God, man, that was a hard job. I did a job recently where it was like for a company called Intel, zombie apocalypse stuff. I was running about with a gun. It was really fun. And my dad was like, where can I watch it? It's on television. And I was like, no, it's on YouTube. Come on, dads. Yeah. Come, Come on, on dads. dads of the world. That's what you got to do. You just got to teach them how to plug the laptop into the TV. And then they think Start it. Start cable. Yes. <laughs> Start yeah. cable. I've got a few of them in the drawer. Yeah. Five hours. Do you have five hours for that? Right. You know you're old when you've got a couple of Scart cables in the drawer and you're like, I'm ready for this. Uh, what about you, Mark? How do you deal with that when friends, family, they go, oh yeah, that was all right, but... You know. My mum was just calling me there, so I feel as if that was part of it. I'm like... <laughs> um, the panel's okay, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I've got some friends who... Um, can be quite critical, but in a good way. Okay. I really, really like it. Oh, do you? Because then you earn the respect when you do a good job. Uh Ah. So you go, okay, what's the notes? And they go, actually, I don't have any. Then that's like, yes! Nice. It's a win. It is a win. Nice. And is there anyone, like, because when I'm doing a job, like, I'm there to please myself, but it's kind of nice if friends and family enjoy it as well. Is there someone in particular in your life that you really care about their opinion? Could be, like, a partner or a parent or a friend, someone that you're like, no, I want them to love it. They need to love it. 
Maybe the telephone, if it rings, it's like that's a good sign. Like the I don't I that's a very good question. Hello, Mr. Mr. Hollywood. Mr. Hollywood? Yes. Did you like it? Do you have another one for me, please? Thank you. <laughs> I don't I don't really know. That's a very good question. I don't have a person that I'm like, so what'd you think? Because it's I I think it's kinda important to try and not to be dependent on external uh, validation as much because it's a it's a slippery slope I think yeah. how do you avoid that I mean now because we've got online you know and there are great communities online that support the show and support what you guys do also there can be criticism how do you navigate that as as actors do you just try and avoid it all or do you go and have a wee read sometimes to see what people are saying um, I don't know. I feel as if it's a waste of energy. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, it's just a waste of energy. And hopefully you're too busy anyway to care. You, <laughs> you, you just do your, like anything, you just do your job and that's it. Like, yeah, absolutely. I think it would be a bit strange if you had a plumber who came home after a day's work and went, I need to find out what they said on Google. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't sleep tonight. <laughs> That plumbing job was hard. <laughs> really need that trust pilot review. Yeah. <laughs> really need that five stars, man. Please. And then, especially if you talk about it all the time, like it'd just be weird if you met up with your friend and same guy just talked about plumbing all the time. I'd be like, can you talk about something else, like the rugby or anything? Yeah. You know. Oh, this plumbing, plumbing. I think it's just more important. Yeah. Finding it, finding finding ways to just do it. Like you said, like yeah. as long as you're doing it, talking about it is for us. There's no. There's no point that doesn't add it's it's nice to sometimes and i kind of it's kind of funny sometimes but it's the actual process that really really matters i think now we're gonna hand it over to audience questions like so somebody had their hands up before the gentleman at the back there oh and a lady here i'm so sorry my dear we'll Someone get both give you a seat. You. hello there what's your name my dear what's your question my name's angela hi angela i was wondering hello. if you took anything from set as a memento um, and also, Mark, you promised us dad jokes. On you, you said this yesterday. <laughs> you put me on the spot. Dad, dad jokes are all about in the moment. Exactly. So, good save. Yeah, good save. <laughs> good save. They, are. they are. Yeah, they are, they are in the moment. So I don't think I have a dad joke for you. But I could maybe help you with the, with the answer to have I ever taken anything from set as a memento. Uh, uh, so I, th I think legally, we should probably say- Legally, we'd never. I've never, never, never took anything. I don't have, so I don't have two Uhtred swords that I, one of them I broke. I don't have Pyrlig's actual sword. I do not have any axes or any Thor hammers. And I definitely do not have the original Citrix knife from season two. Definitely not. That's <laughs> legally. <laughs> legally, yes. <laughs> okay, Mark, what about you? What do you? Not have. I, I would I would never have a real sword. I don't even know. I, I don't. I think that's illegal. How irresponsible. Yep. Yeah. I don't have, don't have a real sword. Don't have a fake thinning sword. And you definitely I, don't have a shield. From definitely do not have a shield. I don't even know how I'd get that in a suitcase. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I just imagine you on your back with a little backpack or, or I'm imagining because you don't have it that's how he would not wear it if you were to wear it I was it. imagining it yeah but that's exactly how we would not wear it if exactly. you had the opportunity exactly exactly thank, thank you very you. much Angela thank, thank you very much okay question we've got a gentleman at the back there let's get you thank you for putting your hand up hi there what's your name and question Hi guys, Hi. Orna. Hey. Hello. Right, so, Arnas, if you were to play Finnan, what would you change about the character? And Mark, if you were Citric, what would you change about the character? Oh. Wow. That's a very good question. Thank you very much. I think maybe I'd try and have less children, maybe. Oh, no, wait, I'm talking about, that's him. Yes, yeah, sorry. That's role swap. <laughs> yeah, role swap. I would maybe try and get armors that are easier to fit in and get on. Especially, well, wait till you see the movie. You'll, it'll, it'll be self-explanatory by then. But apart from that, I feel like that's a very trick question. And I'm going to answer by saying, like, I wouldn't change anything because he did such a good job. And people to this day walk around saying, like, wait, he's not Irish? So I wouldn't change anything. I would just like to be 
in autopilot, in his skin, doing his role as he's doing it. So there you go. Boom. Tri qu trick question. Thank you very much. But, but you didn't drop that. I felt like you needed I, I the mic. I don't know. I, it's, yeah, I no. would have never. I, yeah, yeah, we've, yeah we've, got to watch. we've got to watch insurance and all that. Um, go, go for it, Mark. What about you? I don't know if it'd change anything. Like, I wouldn't mean to do it intentionally. <laughs> But you're so good at your fights and your horse riding. I feel as if would make Cedric more clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> so naturally, people are like, "Who's this clown?" <laughs> so um, yeah, not nothing. Thank you very much. But actually, for your actually, oh, I'm sorry. I, would, I would give you a lot of <laughs> deep eyeliner. I would go full out in eyeliner. Bring, bring it bon back. Jovi, yes. That kind of like crazy out there. <laughs> Boy George, yes. Put a hat on him as well. Sit yeah. with a hat, always clumsy with the with the hat. <laughs> yeah, so, something like that. Thank you for your question. Can we have a round of applause for the, the questions there? Thank you for Thank asking you very much. those. Thank you very, very much. Guys, it's always an absolute pleasure to I, talk to you. I, I've got I've got a quick uh, kind of question for everyone else, actually. Yeah. Oh, we were we were thinking of trying to do something. To, oh, something, yes. The, the movie's out next year, and uh, we were thinking of, you know, how can we give it something back to the fan base? Because it's just been so amazing being a part of this journey, and I feel as if it's the show's coming to an end, and it's a joint kind of journey and celebration. So, just out of curiosity. Um, if people can put their hands up who have a Twitch account. Great. So that's quite a lot of people. Right. Fantastic. Because we were thinking of potentially doing a kind of kind of World Cup kind of thing um, online. Basically except. we're asking, would you watch us play video games together? Yes. Great. 100%. Fantastic. To the point. And would you be on my Twitch channel? Oh, would you? Would you? They'll would do a you panel be, with me. They won't be on my Twitch. Would you be on our Twitch channels? Yeah. Would you be on our Twitch? Yeah, okay. <laughs> or, or, I thought you, you were like, set nah. it up yet. It's like, wait, how does that work? It's like we only prepared the we're, questions. We're just getting the data. This is too many things. You're going. Oh, wait, to. we could play like. Have you got Mario Kart? I we've heard people play. That'd be Mario Kart. Or we could do Halo Three. Well, we thought there's a there's oh. actually a game. Um, it's a, a total war game oh. it's out there and it's based on some of the characters from the last well, I was one of the voices of that video game yeah, as well, he, so. you were one of the voices and you were like oh my god I'm sure I know about this I one. didn't even know I, I forgot so yeah. would you watch us play battle games against each other so the, yeah the idea would be it'd be controlling armies fans against the actors oh yeah um, championship big battles shield wall style yeah. Oh, yeah. Who'd watch that? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Right, okay. okay. Just need to try and make it work, Mr. Hollywood. <laughs> grab your attention now. Also, yeah. before we go, can I just ask one of the my people at the side, could you grab my phone for me, you guys? It's just there on that chair. Because I need you all to say something. Mark was talking about it last night. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah! Right, so I'm going to film this, you guys. I really want you to say at the top of your lungs. So, Mark, do you want to explain what the word is that we want everyone to shout out? So, uh, Yaldi is a Scottish word. Yes! Yes! Yaldi! Give, give us a Yaldi. Yaldi. So it's like a celebration of life. It's like complete euphoria, <laughs> amazingness, all in one word. It's like all-encompassing, embracing life. So uh, it's like a, a, the equivalent... It's like a hell yeah in America times 10. Yes. So, and that is Yaldi. So, when I count down from three to one, I want you all to shout Yaldi at the top of your voices and I'm, I'm going to film this, right? We used to do it on set and it was really fun. Before takes, it would piss off some of the directors. But <laughs> all right, my friends. Yaldi in three, two, one. Yaldi! That was really good. We're under Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you so, so much. Thank you to Mark. Thank you to Arnas. Thank you. Yes.